Hello and welcome to another AIC Productions video. Today I'm going to be doing something that I don't normally do, um, which is an actual unboxing. Um, normally I like to spend some time with the device before I even mention anything about it. Uh, this is a computer that my wife picked up. She's going on a road trip here uh, with the kids um, shortly and she wanted something that she could put movies on in the car. And so we picked this up and I'll show you what uh, what we're thinking with this one. Anyways, uh, go ahead and open it now. Uh, please excuse the computers in the background. I'm actually running a test on those. Um, and this is my only space big enough for, for all the systems. So go ahead and uh, cut the tape on that. And I don't normally do unboxings. Uh, I don't think people find them all that interesting, but I do get the occasional requests uh, on them. So, typical plug. Yeah, my hand's kind of fat. Now this has been Lenovo's charger for a while, a square plug. And it's almost exactly the same size as a USB, which I don't really like. Um, just like an RJ45 um, jack port is almost exactly the same width as a USB port. So if you're not paying attention, you might plug something in the wrong port. I haven't actually done that with the charging cable. I have done it with a, a Ethernet port, but I haven't done it with the, this particular charging port yet. And here is the actual system. It is another Lenovo, and I did have a kind of poor experience with Lenovo support recently. However, their current pricing on laptops has been very aggressive. You get a lot of system for your money. And this happens to be a, I believe it's a Yoga. Uh, oh, excuse me, a Flex, a Lenovo Flex. It's got a Celeron 3050, which is the same processor that's in that blue laptop. It's got four gigs of RAM, a 500 gig hard drive, um, and I believe it has an Ethernet port as well. It has an 11 and 11.6 inch screen and a two cell battery, and it was about 250 bucks. So it was a really good deal. I think. We'll have to do some testing on it. But here's the machine. Now like these lower end machines, it's not really what I would consider upgradable. Um, you could take all these screws off and probably replace that hard drive, which is something I probably might do. We'll see about that. As far as ports, this is, you have the power button here on the side now. That, that's important here in a moment. We'll go over that. Um, this is a USB 2 that also charges. USB 3. So this charges when the laptop's off. It'll charge your phone. Uh, HDMI and a full-size Ethernet, which is actually on a laptop this inexpensive is really nice. Um, Wi-Fi is great, but nothing replaces a, uh, a real uh, Ethernet port. Another USB 2. So that gives us, what, three USB ports. Um, that's your charging port, uh, SD card, headphone, that's a reset button, and a volume rocker on the outside. Now, why is there a power button and the volume rocker on the outside of the system? Well, this being part of their flex line is, it doesn't just open this much or this much or even this much. It flips all the way around. And has a touch screen and so you can actually power it on from this side let's see if it turns on now again i did just unbox this so battery might not be charged let's see here it doesn't look like the battery is charged but her thought is is if we could use this and hang it between the two seats pull in half she'll be able to put kid movies on for the kids to watch and just hang there. And we have a fairly sizable library of movies. 
And so we're going to uh, load this up and see what we can do with it. So that was an unboxing of a Lenovo Flex 3. I'll do some uh, my standard uh, performance testing on it. Since I have another laptop with exactly the same uh, CPU, it'll be interesting to see how this stacks up as far as uh, overall performance and um, battery life. So thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the description below. I'll be more than happy to answer those.